Yo, m i a s a n Welcome to Manga Sensei. I'm your host, as always, John Sensei. Today we're talking about the second part of the Japanese resume, things that you'll have to put together. This one's necessarily one that you have to put together, but definitely one that you will need. This is the Shokai Jo, or also known as the Letter of Introduction. This is typical of, very, of Japanese business and higher education, period. Getting good letters of recommendation from previous jobs. Or from people who you have in common is a great way to get into a company as well as to get an interview where you otherwise might not have that opportunity. Shokai Jo in Japanese are very, very useful and are used for a variety of purposes, but mostly to at least get you that first meeting, even if it's not necessarily an interview. Now, there's some very particular words if you're writing one or if you're reading one beforehand that are very, very important. The first thing to recognize is cultural things. When you're giving this Letter of recommendation to someone, always bow and hit it with two hands. This two hand approach, when you're handing it to someone, is extremely important as it shows respect. Just like you would with a Japanese business card, you wouldn't hold it with one hand nor put it anywhere near your feet or butt. You also want to make sure that you read it and understand exactly who it is you're addressing. And most likely, when you hand them this letter of recommendation, you will also be exchanging with them business cards. So that's a very good first thing to recognize. Also, when they read, they're going to be using some very humble language back. This doesn't mean that you can simply jump to not using honorifics. Please always use honorifics when giving so in your show kaijo. Most likely they'll say something like, Hai, o yomi shimasu. Or, most likely they'll also say, Hai, ken shimasu. Hai, ken suru is what it is a very humble form meaning to read, which is very important as well. Now, if you are getting a letter of recommendation, you will often see words like OB or OG. These are actually English taken acronyms that are now taken into Japanese. These are old boy and old girl. This means that you went to school together or that you have some kind of a relation to each other in the past. Most likely you went to school, the same university, same hometown. You have a mutual person that you know. And this can be for yourself or it can simply be for the person writing the shokaijo for you. So these are very important acronyms to understand. OL is also sometimes recognized, but that is more office lady, the same thing as a salary man. Or sarari ma. The sarari should be long in that word. Make sure to don't miss that as well. Now, when you give your shokai jo, this is something that will be most likely written by somebody else, or if you're writing one, you're addressing someone and trying to get them in. So you're going to try to highlight those things of which they do well, whether it was doing well in school, if you're a professor, or if it's along the lines of、um, doing well in the company of which you're working. This is, a great, this is a basically a letter of recommendation, but it's also telling you how you are connected. You're getting yourself a lifeline. I know Takahashi san, so I'm going to write Takahashi san a shokai jo. So when he meets Nakamura san, we, we have this group kind of connection together. And where Nakamura san would not necessarily give Takeshi san an interview, he might do this because he knows me or because we have a connection, so he might be able to help him out as well. This is a great way to get into the door. I recommend taking one with you if you have any connection inside the company at all. This shokai jo can be taken earlier. Or you can bring it with you when you do the interview, and so you can introduce yourself a little more thoroughly and give them something to read. These are taken in high esteem. People's opinions in Japan, just like they are here in the United States or any other country, are taken very seriously, especially if they're given by a very high level person or by someone who demands a lot of respect college professor, family friend, mayor, etc. So this show, Kaijo, is very important. When asking for one, make sure that you、um, identify who they are. Where they, are from, where they are from, and the connection that you have together. This is very important. You can also use the Shokai Jo to walk up to someone. For example, if you're to go in to get an interview with someone, you can mention at the front desk, they'll usually ask, I'm sorry, who are you? Moshi wa gozaimasen ga, dochira sama de shoka, is what they'll most likely say. Which of which you can respond,、um, I am this person, a friend of this person, trying to meet X. This will allow you to kind of wiggle your way in there. But I am out of time. Make sure you sign up, subscribe, and give us a like, five stars, all that good stuff. And I will see you tomorrow. Until then.